What's going on guys? Welcome back to another new one and today I finally did it. I was finally able to find, seek out some of these mystery tins that right now are about as hot as the surface of the sun for hockey card collectors. After literal weeks of checking Walmart every other day, fair point, I'm there anyway to buy, you know, groceries and stuff. I'm not there just for these, but I'm there quite a bit and finally was able to track down two of these. The only reason I have two is because two is what they had. When I saw them in the, in the stupid locked up case at the Walmart I usually don't buy cards from, uh, there was no way I was leaving without them. So bought these from Walmart for the price of $16 a piece, it's like 15 something plus tax. Got the hell out of there, ready to throw down and defend myself, defend these tins from anything that came at me to get out of that Walmart. So I want to point out the uh, insanity that is the going rate of the secondary market on these tins. The scalpers are having a field day on these things. Just look at the absolutely aggressively hostile, insane prices people are reselling these things for on eBay. So for the love of God, don't support scalpers. Don't buy these things. For one thing, I mean, at 50 bucks a pop, they're just not worth it. Yes, I get it. McDavid Young Guns could be in these things. The Matthews Young Guns could be in these things, but you're not even guaranteed a pack that will have any of those cards in it anyway like my first three tins I opened in the last video which you haven't if you haven't watched go back and uh, check that out I did three of these tins I had a 2016 2017 series one that has Austin Matthews young guns potentially in it but that was it I didn't even hit pack that potentially have the young guns McDavid in it so why would I spend 50 bucks on a ridiculously slim chance of maybe getting that pack it's just absolute insanity so don't do it don't support the scalpers don't pay this ridiculous prices and hilariously because they're so expensive uh, I think they look better here on my uh, I had them for a bit sitting on my display here because sadly I think at the 50 bucks a piece these potentially could go for on eBay. They potentially look better sitting next to Kirill there than some of the other cards that I normally have there. Anyway, so yeah, like I said, the uh, potentially in here is uh, pretty insane, which I, I understand why they're going for what they're going for, but it is absolutely crazy. When people do find these, they be hostile D-bags and they buy out Walmart. Uh, I technically bought out the Walmart, but they had two. So, you know, I don't feel too bad about doing that. So if they'd had, you know, four or five, I'd have made to grab three and left the other two there and not be a total piece of garbage and take it all. Like So there we go. So yeah, like I said, the... Uh, the potential in here is huge, so I fully understand why they're going for that, but the odds are absolute garbage. You know, a lot of people probably think, well, why don't you just resell these? Like I said, scalping is a scumbag move. I'm not that big of a douchebag. And the fact of the matter is that uh, that's not good for content now, is it? So these are good content, so here we are. Like I said, the odds of hitting McDavid are essentially zero, but I would love to freaking eat my own hat and pull McDavid out of here. I will be the happiest guy in the planet if it happens, but it probably won't. So we'll open the first tin. And as always, if you like this kind of content, you like the uh, mystery tins, I would love to open more on the channel if I could find them, but they're hard to find. But if you do like this kind of content, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Always appreciate everybody who does that. Always appreciate any of the time that you spend watching my dumb ass look at hockey cards. Mystery tin number one, let's see what we got in this one. All right, so, oh, we got a mystery, a mystery item. Uh, this one, this is the second mystery item I have pulled out of these tins. The other one had a sleeve, this one doesn't. At least I think the other one had a sleeve. Pretty sure it had a sleeve. Upper Deck Game Jersey of Ryan Suter, and this would be from 2012, 2013. Upper Deck Series 1. Series 1, this year doesn't even have jerseys in it, but next, uh, Series 2 is going to have jerseys, so. All right, and then we got, so, a 2021 Hockey Series 2, and then behind that will be our score packs, most likely. Yeah, so, 2018, 2019, oh, peachy. And then the score junk packs, which are literally just filler, but there's something to open at least. So I did find uh, you may, if you don't get one of these awesome mystery hits, you, you may sometimes get a fifth pack. My one tin last time had a fifth pack in it, which is awesome. So so I should realistically just take these and throw them in the garbage. But to keep this from being a five minute video, we will actually look at them and pretend I care. So this is both, what, 2012, 2013. Panini score. Of course, Panini. Not in the hockey card game anymore, even though it'd be nice if they were. Not for score, mind you, but for some of the other sets. National treasures and stuff like that would be pretty cool. Select hockey. Get, get one of those ringside one ones All right, so you got hot dog fill. Hot dog fill back on the Leafs. David Clarkson, Jason Arnett, Tobias Enstrom, Roman Yossi, a hot rookies of Dalton Prout, who, uh, yeah, anyway. And then an Artem Nisimov, some kind of a uh, traded to the Blue Jackets. It's kind of funny they put that on a card. So like I said here, this is another tin of no chance at a McDavid Young Gun, right? If I paid 50 bucks for this, I'd be pissed. So don't do it. Chris Pronger, Thomas Placanek, Jordan Stahl, Braden Shen, Evgeny Malkin, an award winner there. The Hart Trophy there. Then you got a... Shea Weber, team score, where I went to Montreal, of course, and then come eat card. I don't know what the significance of the uh, insert there is, just uh, whatever team score insert is. And then a Derek Roy, also traded. Is this also just, uh, is that what this insert is? Shows you who's traded and when they're traded? I don't know. All right. 1819 OPG. Got Nate Thompson, Sebastian Ajo, Derek Pouillot, Daniel Sedin, Chuckus of the Islanders. Little mini card of Patrick Kane there. It's cool they did the mini cards instead of the tall boys back then. Essel and and Louis Deming, who I totally forgot was on Tampa. All right, so 2020 2021 Series 2. All right, so we'll take a Caprizov Young Gun, Sorokin Young Gun out of here. Dutzla. I'll take a Stuart Skinner out of here, being an Oilers fan. Young Gun Canvas. We'll also take that. The Caprizov Canvases as well out of here. I don't think Robertson was in this series, so we can't pull him, but. All right, so we got Brendan Smith. I think we actually do have a young gun here. Brendan Smith, Radic Faxa, uh, Anton Kudobin, and uh, Brian Pino. 
Young Guns. Hey, not the greatest Young Gun, but happy to hit a Young Gun anyway. I don't have a ton of uh, Young Guns from this series, so or from this uh, from this set. So there we go. We got Adam Boquist, Jake Gardner, Anthony Mantha, and Troy Terry. Hit a Young Gun. That's hard enough to do. We'll take it. Not the one I wanted, but all right. Tin number two. It's getting more and more of the feeling that MJ Holdings didn't send any of the McDavid pack tins this direction. At least for my small sample size, it seems that way. So, well. Shut my mouth, because there it is. David Potential, Kaprizov Potential, 11-12 victory, uh, Ryan Nugent Hopkins Potential, 11-12 maybe, and then no potential. Same 2012-2013 score, open this up as if anybody were to care, but... Alright, Sergey Gonchar, Nikolai Kabibun on the Oilers, the Blue and Waller, cool. Fun fact about him that people may or may not know, he, his feet sweat so bad, he drilled holes in the bottom of his goalie skates to let the sweat flow out. Disgusting, right? Uh, Damon Lankow, Mark Letestu, the test tube... Mark Edward Vlasic, uh, Carter Ashton. <laughs> oh, okay, uh, I have a story about Carter Ashton. Alexei, Alexei Ponikarovsky. Ponikarovsky. So, small world. I'm from Saskatoon. Carter Ashton's from Saskatoon. Carter Ashton grew up a block away from me. So, like, I knew his, like, his dad. Was, everybody just, like, knew where Brent Ashton's house was because he was this big NHL player, even though Brent Ashton didn't exactly have an amazing career. Uh, a bit of a suitcase, but same zone I played hockey in. Uh, he's younger than me, so I never played with him. But also uh, worked at an oil change when I was younger with his brother. So, direct connections to Carter Ashton. There you go. So, it's kind of funny to pull his card. So, he was a Saskatoon Blade as well, I think. But, yeah, his uh, his NHL career didn't really pan out. Better hockey player than his brother. I don't think his brother even played hockey. <laughs> his brother didn't even play hockey. He was kind of a black sheep. Pavel Datsuk, P.K. Subban, Jonathan Tavares, Devin Dubers, Dubnik, John Moore, another rookie of Michael Hutchinson. Draft picture there. To be a goalie, right? Seems like the goalies always have the draft cards. I don't know what it, what it is, but remember Hutchinson's name, but yeah, I don't think he really did much. He didn't mount anything. And there's Jonathan Bernier, a Stanley Cup champions card. That's right, because LA, LA won in 2011. There you go. All right, so you got 2011-2012 victory hockey, so at least something different. Rookie card in every pack. Let's see if we can pull a, see if we can maybe pull a Nuge out of here. So Nicholas Backstrom, Chris Stewart. Michael Neuverth. Got uh, stars of the game, Eric Stahl and Michael Grabner and Martin Havlat. Well, which one is our rookie? It says we're supposed to have a rookie in every pack. Did I miss it? Am I crazy? Or is this just more quality control? No, no, obviously not. No, no. Okay. Well, either I'm an idiot or the uh, pack is a liar. Let's shoot for another young gun here. Real Stutzla, Broken, Stuart Skinner. Skinner's young guns go for a lot more now than you were going for. Yeah, I know it looks like a, daz a dazzler. That's all right. Cam Fowler, Evgeny Kuznetsov, Robin Leonard, a marquee rookie of Pavel Francuz, and a Gabe Velarde Dazzlers. That'd be a rookie Dazzlers for him. Patty Maroon, and Nick Paul, and Jake Vertanen. A marquee rookie of Francou Francois. Sorry, not Francois. It's Francois. I always say Francois just cuts, uh, but it's Francois. And uh, yeah, no young gun there, but that's right. So these go for 35 bucks a pack or so, up to, yeah, uh, graded ones of these, which is hilarious that you'd grade a pack. But PSA 10s of these are like 350 The smart person in me would just sell this. But what, where's the fun in that? That's not good for content. And uh, what fun is that? There's a McDavid in here. I'm going to lose my mind. So give her a whirl. So, all right, McDavid hunting. Here we go. I'd say this is interestingly probably the only time I'll ever open a pack of this stuff because I'm not going to spend 35 bucks on a single pack, nor will I ever pay the money for a hobby box of this stuff. It's just insanity. So, all right, Blake Wheeler. A little sticky, not too bad. Sam Vatanen. Ricard Raquel. Andrew Hammond. Gabe Landeskog. We got a base pack. Oh, that's my luck, eh? Taylor Hall, Claude Giroux, and Cody Cece. So there you go. Hype it all up and you get a base pack, right? So that's why you don't buy packs of this stuff. And that's why you don't pay 50 bucks for a tin of this stuff. No McDavid, which should be expected. Odds of hitting it are pretty freaking terrible. So what did we get worth mentioning? Well, Marky Ricky, Pal Francois, Gabe Velarde Dazzlers, the Young Guns of Brian Pino, 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 and uh, our awesome mystery item. There you go. Ryan Suter napkin patch. We'll take it. So there you go. Two of the tins that should you find, buy them up at Walmart. But for the love of God, don't pay scalper prices. That doesn't help anybody. And uh, maybe you can get lucky. Maybe you can hit McDavid or hit a base pack like I did. That's what the hobby likes to do to me. So is what it is so still fun to open still happy to share that with you guys if you like watching me suffer through opening things that wind up being base packs uh, like and subscribe and uh, we'll see you in the next one